The suicide of a teenage the girl in the court. That's where you have and it. One the family against the other. The failure to prevent the suicide of the sheriff. The police say it was a bully to fight. months of verbal assaults and threats from her classmates. Classmates of Matthews as well as students in the district that went to other high schools saw the video and proceed to taunt him, tease him, bully him to no end. Investigators say the relentless three months of bullying she faced included verbal assaults, physical threats, harassing text messages constantly sent to her cell phone. A student posted the video on social media. According to the police, Sedwick was bullied online for 10 months. And before that, Sedwick's mother told us her daughter had been physically attacked five times before she finally pulled her daughter. It's a very similar incident to what happened in 2010 to Jane Clemente's son, Tyler. Humiliated by that video recording and its circulation, he jumped from the George Washington Bridge. But the question tonight, did the school do enough to protect her from the bullying? I made several reports to the school. Um, I did one online bullying report because nothing was being done by the school and nothing was done with that either. School personnel did nothing to protect Matthew or intervene to stop the harassment that ultimately led to his suicide. The video is heartbreaking. A 15-year-old named Amanda. She never speaks, but recounts how she descended into depression and self-harm after months of taunts online progressed to attacks at school. It's another form of cyberbullying that needs to be monitored by parents, and it's the parents' fault. When heaven seems so far away, and dreams are just a memory, without the dark, the light won't show. Remember that you're not alone When you watch the world just turn away And break the promises in me When love is all too hard to hold Just take a breath and let it go Whoa, whoa, whoa. Suicide. 
so you can get through it. When it comes down to it, you're in charge of who you are and what you do, not them. You need to tell someone if you are feeling that way. Everyone goes through this. And I mean everyone goes through bullies. It's just a tiny period of your life and you have so much to live for. There's still people leaving comments like, I'm glad she's dead and she deserves it. Like, why are people doing that? I don't know. When is she gonna see this, you know? Like, are you just doing it for your own pleasure? Believe in yourself and everything will go fine. Suicide is not the answer. Because even if you feel like there's nothing for you to live for anymore, there always is. It'll be okay. All these like mean-hearted people are over here like, she deserved it. No, she didn't. To be bullied to the point where you have to like, kill yourself, like, I don't think that's right. They're mourning at the gym where she trained as a cheerleader. I think because on the exterior she was so tough and strong and put up with so much that she could handle anything. And we're all breakable. Every person, if they see someone being Just harassed or intimidated breathing, or some type of bullying happening, they have a personal responsibility to speak up and say something. I would rather see the parents and the administrators at that school behind bars. No one asks for it. It isn't a rite of passage. Bullying has to stop. Just keep breathing, breathing 